back, haven't you, from Saturday? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We uh, it was a late one and a long one, of course, but the supporters had to endure that as well. But uh, you know, at least they they didn't see their team lose goal that way, and uh, we did get the equalising goal, which is always a slightly better feeling than if you're one nil up and the side equalises against you. So um, we was in on Sunday still. We reviewed the game. Um, the lads, you know, we give them their say and what they thought, and I'm pleased to say they thought the same as me. And uh, and when that happens, you know that uh, it doesn't take long to get everybody back on a straight and narrow. Not that we was too far off the the right mm. path. This uh, that maybe a goal or two wouldn't have put right, but that's the name of the game. I know people are saying about goal scorers and all that sort of thing. Mm. We we got some. I'm very happy with my squad, so at this moment in time we're, we're not looking outside for anyone else because these are the ones that have put in the effort till now. Well, I'll be second, third, top goal scorers or something. Yeah. Um, we've got good goals against Colum and we're second in the league at the moment. Yeah, it'd be great to be top, uh, but we're still within striking distance of that when we need to be. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll kill any speculation by <laughs> saying that um, I'm, I'm happy with our squad and I'm happy with our subs because that's a hard thing as well, not not to play good players um, because the players are doing all right on the pitch. And if you change it every time something doesn't quite go right, you're changing it every week and that's a sure mm. sign to be bottom of the league. Yeah, that, that that's the key, isn't it? Not to not to get carried away with a 7-1 at, at Halifax and then not to be sort of carried away by two frustrating 1-1 draws. No, you mustn't. You've got to have faith in the group that you've put together. Um, don't mess about with it too much, uh, but you try and keep everybody interested if you can. And if a goal scorer has uh, you know, missed a couple of chances, uh, sometimes you have to persevere because that's what the goal scorers do. But goal scorers keep getting in those positions. And uh, as I say, we've got a few good goal scorers. Mm. We, we haven't got anyone in the, uh, like the lad at uh, Bromley who's got 13. Um, but we've got two that have got 13 in total, yeah. i.e. Danny and uh, Amari. And then you've got Billy uh, Stores, Downsy. I think they're all on four or something. So mm. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with what we got. So when we were a bit down about our game, we're not totally devastated yeah. about our game. Um, it just means that we're not quite reaching the standards that we're requiring of ourselves. That's the important thing. Yeah, you, you seem to have re- read some of the comments by fans, like, like I have after well, the I, game. Well, but... I always do, yeah. and uh, you know, all fans—not all fans, but you know, a lot of fans understand what what you're mm. saying because I, I'm never going to lie to you and, and pull the wool over people's eyes and say oh, it was a fantastic performance if it wasn't. And I don't do that with the players either. But then they don't do that. You know, every time I listen to their comments, it, it, we've all seen the same game because mm. they know the game that we're aspiring to. They know it, mm. and we've seen it in you know certain parts of games, um, and we know it's there. So you've got to keep going and, uh, and making sure that continuity, if you like, in time, uh, gets your results. The manager's got to keep showing the squad that he believes in them. Mm. And uh, the way you do that, you, you review things and you go, OK, now go and do a little bit better or go and put it right. Or that's, that's the way to get a healthy squad. But the final one, from in terms of the, what the fans are thinking, some of them are saying maybe time to bring back the two strikers, particularly on loan. Have you, have you had any thoughts about bringing Bobby and, and no, Harry back? Uh, not at this moment in time because uh, they'd only at best be on the bench at the moment and, mm. I, and I just don't think they'll be getting enough games to help them. At the moment, when you're a young lad and you haven't had many what you class as first team games, that's what you've got to do to gain that experience. And if they can get 20, 30 games under their belt somewhere, then that's better than waiting for 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Um, And uh, Bobby's got a problem with his knee at the moment anyway. But um, no, the squad is as the squad is and I'll bring people into the squad that have not been around it yet, i.e. some of the young lads, um, at the right time. Mm -hmm. Um, Obviously a a really long day on Saturday and uh, coming back and then training yesterday. Did did 
everybody get through okay Saturday, both the game and the and the sort of the arduous journey and so on. Yeah, they did. They did. Their uh, yeah, football was known that yeah. they got long trips sometimes, you know, and uh, uh, it takes them probably an hour or two after the game to reflect and, and then they get back into their personalities, which mm. you want them to. Um, because we didn't lose again. Now, the good thing is when we're not, if we're not at the top of our game, we're not getting beat necessarily. Yeah. Um, two defeats in 16 is, is not bad. It's just that we've got one other team that's, that's doing slightly slightly better. Um, but as their support was sung on the day, you know, we're coming to get you. Yeah. Uh, Bromley have had a terrific start to, to life in the National League after promoting. They're actually only a point behind now. You, I think you mentioned Saturday that you probably weren't expecting Dover and maybe Bromley to be up there, but mm. that they, they've shown that they're they're right in this race, haven't they? Yeah, they, they, they've shown that they've got that quality of um, defending. You know, they're in the right areas at the right times. Um, and then all of them have, as I've always said, every team's got somebody or a couple of somebodies that are dangerous. Mm. That's the level we're at. And if you're not on song, then and those dangerous people come up with a, um, a quality goal, like Bromley did. I think they had eight, nine opportunities and scored five on the day. Mm. Now, they haven't done that every week, but uh, all the goals were quality goals. And, you know, there was ben, bending shots into the top corner. There was clever bits of play. There was so... Uh, it's going to be a, a, a good game, but, again, it's a good game to have. You've got to keep concentrating, and mm. you know they're up there on merit, that's for sure. And, uh, and you know, we've got to go there knowing that they've... Scored. They've got goals in them, so we've got to stop that and uh, and get our own goals and try and get that stat of one more goal than them at least. Yeah. Uh, are you thinking of maybe th- freshening the 15, 16 up and, and, and jigging it around after uh, after some hard games? Well, um, that's always in your thoughts, that's for sure. Um, but I've got you know six page dossier there on on Bromley and. Uh, we had them watched as well on, on Saturday, so that's how much we respect that we need to know a little bit more about them. And, um, and I'll pick the team according to what I feel we need to win the game, whether that's freshening it up, whether it's keeping the continuity, whether it's changing a free kick or two because we've seen a little weakness maybe, you know, all those things. There's, there's a lot more things than just saying, throwing up all the names and going, well, let's freshen it up and let's see how it all you know, pans out. It's a bit more scientific than that. <laughs> Mark Goldberg's had a random, fairly unique route into football management, but it appears to be doing a very good job there. Yeah, well, all, all chairmen think they're managers. <laughs> yeah. <don't> they? <laughs> and he's had, uh, um, he's had a good run at it, and he's mm. certainly uh, it's, a, it's a claim now. All the, all the chairmen will start thinking, we don't yeah. need managers, we can do it ourselves. <laughs> Any worry that that might happen here? <laughs> I don't think so. I think uh, as long as he makes me his assistant, then I don't yeah. mind. But, um, you know, uh, you always talk to your directors about what you're trying to do and what you're doing, and uh, some chairmen have more, would like to have more influence than others. Um, fortunately, this chairman lets you get on with it and is happy to hear what's going on as opposed to telling you what he thinks should be mm. going on. Um, and and that makes for a happy camp. But then you've got to trust your manager if you bring him in. Otherwise, you do what Mr Goldberg's done and you do it yourself. Yeah, excellent.